Hey, greetings everybody. Coach Fernando Cabada here of Cabada Trading Systems. Uh, definitely want to apologize and um, uh, for skipping last week. I didn't put a video out, to be honest. Um, just been scrambling, a uh, big race the other weekend. And uh, yeah, I just didn't get to it. And so definitely didn't want to skip this week. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about the Temple Run. Now, before I go any further, definitely want to say that this is my perspective, uh, my opinion. There's tons of studies out there. Like I said in the last video, there's a lot of people with a lot of different opinions. There's so many ways to get in shape. And I'll always say that it's it's the, the coach that could inspire you, that, that motivates you to wanna, you know, get up daily, to go run. Um, that's the most important thing. Um, the coach could know all the secrets, all the special uh, workouts and formulas, but um, you can't inspire the athlete and it's not going to really work out too good. But with that being said, let's go further. So this is uh, how I view the tempo and what I give my athletes and what I do for myself. Um, stuff that helped me become a 211 marathoner, a 102 half marathon, uh, 102 half marathoner, which at the time I had coached myself, I was self-coached. I know I haven't really got into it in my background and stuff, but I was been professional since 2006. So a lot of my um, philosophies and beliefs come from past coaches uh, from college, high school, um, uh, till, till now, and coaches I recently worked with and, and what I've studied and stuff. Um, you know, I could go a list on with, starting with John McDonald, um, University of Arkansas, Steve Jones, uh, Brad Hudson, and I've did a lot of research with Dr. Joe Vigil, a longtime coach of Adams State uh, D2 program powerhouse. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> um, so the tempo run. So there's two tempo runs. Okay, so a lot of times you're going to hear like the short tempo, the long tempo. So for the short tempo, you're going to hear LT um, and AT. So anaerobic tempo, lactic threshold tempo, LT. So this is something that you could do in duration of 10 to 20 minutes, okay? It's a little difficult. So a lot of studies were done with, with high caliber athletes, right? Like in their 20s, okay? College, um, after college, Olympic style, style stuff. So a lot of people who read these books, right? They are going off that. They are training people who are 30, 40 years old like that, okay? So they're gonna say, hey, the short tempo, the LT, the AT, whatever, that is something where you go from 15K to half marathon pace. There's some people, normal folk, right? You guys could probably run your half marathon pace in a daily run, okay? So if you go someone like I have ran 440 mile pace or 255 per K, I couldn't do that. You know, I would need a bike pacer. I would need, you know, a group of guys to go and do um, four miles, five miles at that pace. Um, when right before the race, yes, I could, but I had a bike pacer. So you, the rule of thumb is you probably would want to do something where you could sustain 10 uh, minutes to 20 minutes. Um, don't go off of like your half marathon pace. Uh, some, you know, some people, yes, if you're a 105 guy, 106, 107 half marathon or yeah, go off your time. That's a good indication. That's a good, you're working it. You're working the system that you need. But if you're not, you know, you might be saying, hey, I got to go my 5K pace, okay? If you're 131 half marathon or three hour marathon, or, you know, maybe it's closer to 5K to 10K. So that's always a little bit different. Just remember 10 minutes to 20 minutes in duration. I'm talking like sometimes you might take off and you might be slowing down every five minutes and that's okay. Uh, definitely wanna, it's like kind of like race effort. So those are the LT or the anaerobic tempo. So now the long one, the long tempo is something that you could do, I would say 40 to 60 minutes in duration, okay? You're gonna hear the words threshold runs, AT as well. It's gonna be aerobic tempo run, okay? So aerobic tempo run, threshold run, longer tempo, anything like that. That is something where I like to say marathon effort some people could do it. I remember, like, if you're an elite, <laughs> it's hard to go do your 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 um, threshold run at that time at that pace. 
I have ran 50 minutes, under 50 minutes. Again, I needed a bike pacer. I needed people. I needed like flat sea level weather. Uh, it's, it's different for everybody, but definitely it's something where you could hold for 45, 40 minutes to, to 60 minutes. For some of you guys, it might be your half marathon pace you could do that at. Um, you know, you gonna you guys are gonna read a lot of things. It's all about data. Go out there, run for 40 minutes for an hour, record that, you got that. You know, even in the same week, you could go short tempo on Tuesday and longer tempo on Saturday. Okay, you're working different systems, don't worry about it. Just be careful uh, with the anaerobic stuff. We're talking like 200s, 400s. A lot of people aren't ready. That's how you, you know, pull hamstrings and mess up your calves and stuff like that. With these tempo runs, you know, if you're not ready to go fast, you're gonna slow down after a while. So, you know, you're not gonna do too much damage in my opinion. I'm gonna say that much for now. Be careful what you read out there. Um, always listen to people who have um, experience coaching different type of athletes. Um, not just they just studied all their life and stuff like that, or they did some study just on some 25 year olds. And um, so, yeah, <laughs> I hope that was very informative. Remember, this is a resource. resource. Come back anytime, check my page out and use my information, it's yours.